Now, just a minute. Is it the 4th of July or is it Independence Day? It's actually both. Now, this is going to get, this is going to take a little more time than a minute. So go get yourself a cold snack and settle in. We got to do a little history lesson. 247 years ago in April of 1775, skirmishes between British troops and colonial militiamen in Lexington and Concord kicked off an armed conflict. 246 years ago today, a document was submitted to and ratified by the Second Continental Congress. It was a unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America and started like this. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them to another and to assume among the powers of earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions and mankind requires they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable, unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of heaven that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from consent of the governed. Now that goes on, and of course, I'm talking about the Declaration of Independence. It goes on uh, a lot longer, and it lists the exact reasons why they are, they are putting this document out. And then we have the closing statement, which I think is one of the most important parts of the document. And a lot of people have never read it. We therefore, the representatives of the United States of America in general Congress assembled, appealing to the Supreme Judge of the world to rectitude of our intentions, do in the name and by authority of the good people of these colonies, solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are of right, ought to be free and independent states, that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British crown, and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved, and that as free and independent states, they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, contract alliances, establish commerce, and to do all other acts and things which independent states may of right do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of the divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. There's more, but that's enough on the declaration. By the end of the summer of 1776, the fledgling country of the United States of America was engaged in full scale war against the British crown because the king wasn't gonna let them go that easy. In 1778, the French entered the conflict that would become known as the American Revolution on the side of the colonist and turned what could arguably be called a civil war into an international conflict. In 1779, Spain started secretly providing gunpowder, munitions, and other supplies to the colonies. After the British surrender at Yorktown, Virginia in 1781 with the help of the French, we had effectively won our independence. Fighting, however, continued for another two years that on September 3rd, 1783, Great Britain formally recognized the independence of the United States in the Treaty of Paris. In 1870, Congress approved Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and Independence Day as the first federal holidays. And that is why we celebrate the 4th of July as Independence Day. It's not separate. It's the same. And there you have it. Just a minute.